what's up guys original intro got cut so quickly just going to say i'm now partnered with royal api which now will allow you to click on the link of any description of any video and it'll have the statistics of the deck and you'll be able to copy it directly so now i won't have people complaining to me about that yeah we're going to be going over a pekka swarm balloon deck uh, of course, every deck that's good right now, almost every deck has Spear Goblins, Goblin Gang, and Bats until they get nerfed, um, or, or Goblin Hut, but uh, Spear Gob's OP, so maybe they'll get nerfed, but until then, might as well abuse it for some 12 wins and uh, ladder as well. So, we're going to go over some quick replays. For whatever reason, Giant is a good matchup, but Giant 3 Musk is awful, and I just keep on getting like 3 Musk tank decks. Uh, Golem itself isn't that bad, but it's the it's because you don't have a big spell. So if they go tank and then three months behind it, it's like wow, that's difficult. Um, well, shared the deck against just like the meta giant deck. This was a really good player. Um, had like three hundred thousand cards, won twenty wins, and like top fifteen hundred finishes or whatever, I believe. So solid player. So he played really well, or she, I guess. Alright, so getting started through the early game, not much too not too much going on there. <laughs> My hand sucked! I should have gone defensive minor. I don't like playing Pekka that early. And this is probably the reason why the game could was kinda close, is I don't like that Pekka at all. And then that was a really good goblin gang by him. Um I, it was a good zap by me in turn. But I really don't like having to play Pekka on something like that early game, and then I just got screwed by this prince, man, but there's like it's like at this point there's nothing I can do. So, with no air defense in his hand, I immediately moved to rush. That was a really good balloon by me because I knew what his deck had. I knew that his bats and spear goblins were out of hand. Um, he ends up cycling back to bats, but he was smart as well, and he instantly charges opposite lane um, and goes for that tower. So, that was that was difficult. Uh, while we're in this lull of the game, by the way, when you do play like Three Musketeers, especially with the tank, this is a bad goblin game. I meant to play the minor first. Um, when you do play like Three Musk with like tank decks, you just... Uh, you just have to like go in with balloon and miner when they um, pump up. If you don't have a uh, balloon, then try to cycle the miner, or yeah, just get on the pump if you can. Punish, punish, punish every time they pump, and then you have to try to pressure the one must side if they split. If they go all one lane, you're probably screwed. You maybe have to like do a suicide balloon in that situation that I was talking about, but yeah. And then right here, I this time I it's about to hit double elixir, so I can play a Pekka. Um, the thought process was I wanted to turn this into a counter push, but he spaced his troops out really well. Uh, I knew he was going to play bats there, so I played my own bats as well. Really good P.E.K.K.A. by him. I am able to get, like, another P.E.K.K.A. down if I wanted, but the tower's already basically dead, so instead I decided to push opposite lane to split his elixir so I could, like, more easily defend the king tower. Um, and I was able to do that. And, I mean, Balloon got a hit, but not enough to, like, make it worth going for king tower. So, I mean... That was kind of something that was going to happen regardless. I mean, he could have poisoned it if he wanted to. So nothing nothing has really gone wrong yet. I'm just playing a really good player that has uh, done what he or she like needed to do. As well as me doing what I needed to do to win the game. Uh, but I mean, double prints can be difficult if you're not able to block it. And then he just he or she just played really well at that early, at that early phase. But right here, I, I'm trying to keep Pekka in rotation, so I don't want to play it yet. And then this P.E.K.K.A. freaking locks onto a Spear Goblin and then is blocked. So that P.E.K.K.A. was so risky. Was, was so, I didn't see the Spear Goblin. It wouldn't have been risky if it had hit the Prince. Um, but yeah, so now I'm on a back foot misplay. But I think this defense is really nice. Kite the Prince opposite lane. And then I know his Zap was out of rotation. He finally gets back to it. Um, but he's a, it's able to DPS down that uh, Giant. Or at least I had a play. And then I'm able to finally get the P.E.K.K.A. out. Get a decent Zap there. Um... Spear goblins go down, and so I'm still in the game. Uh, I'm gonna have to start trying to pressure the right side now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go minor balloon, yeah, because I knew his uh, bats were out of hand. Um, so yeah, I go minor balloon. Uh, this was like probably the one mistake, but he he or she was trying to catch me off guard. Um, but yeah, really good timing on that balloon by me. And then uh, it is able to take the game, and then I just have to cycle to zap or minor, and I do. So, I mean, in that game, try to, I mean, if their bats are out of hand, try to go balloon more often, but that trade was nice early on, and then it, I'm kind of at a disadvantage, because big sack, you just have to go opposite lane, though, because you don't have a poison, so, like, if they sack with a push, they will get through your P.E.K.K.A. Um, and then here, this is a triple spell deck, so this is a hard matchup, but he does have Giant as well, so, I mean, of course, this is why this type of deck runs P.E.K.K.A., because there's so much Giant right now. 
And otherwise, you would just this type of deck would just get murdered by these P.E.K.K.A. decks. So kite, kite, uh, opposite lane. Then I had to use minor defend. Very good defense there. Sorry, I sped through it, but uh, kind of want to get in some live matches. I am slightly behind, but slightly ahead in damage. So at this point, he has ten elixir. He plays a troop, so I know I'm down four elixir. Um, but I decided to go balloon here because even though I was down elixir, I was like his mega minions out of rotation. But I didn't know, apparently he has Musketeer, and he was uh, able to zap that, so I messed up on counting where his zap was, or paying attention where his zap was, so that was a mistake by me. I didn't know he had Musketeer, so I thought, I thought, okay, well, well, I, kinda, I think I may have knew zap was there. I thought maybe, oh, we'll have to waste zap, and then he won't be able to play his Mega Minion, but he had Musketeer. Um, yeah, that is why I did it, because I knew that he wouldn't have Elixir to play both, but, oh well. So right here, I was really hoping he would log, and he logs the Spear Goblins, even though his Mega Minion would have died anyway, which is really nice. So now that I know his log and his Zap's out of rotation, I know he'll get back to Zap, but I have double his Zap bait cards. So you'll see what I do based on that. So I go Goblin Gang, so I'm like, okay, now he's going to Zap that, um, and I can play Bats. But I think I decided instead to go for the Musketeer. Yeah, the Musketeer Zap, because I, I saw a really good opportunity to tank the Musketeer, and I did, and it got that hit off, and so it paid off. Really good job there, distracting the Musketeer with my Zap, retargeting the tower, um, retargeting the Musketeer, uh, and I'm able to get tower off of that, even though he has like a really strong defense against my cards, just from paying attention to his cycle. Um, and then now I am down in the Luxor, so I just have to do everything I can to defend this. Um, so Ice Golem to distract. So I go Ice Skull on one side. He actually pre-logs, which was pretty good. But um, in the meantime, my peck is doing work. Uh, I tried to zap there before the charges went off, but it worked out. And then I don't know what his zap was. Even if he had zapped the Goblin, the Spear Goblins, I would have gone Goblin Gang. And that ends up being game. Right here, I just play a P.E.K.K.A. And then it stops it. Oh, yeah, so I'm visiting Orange Juice now. Um, and, yeah, let's just hop into some live battles. Dun, dun, dun. One day, okay. Playing against the Goblin. Starting hand is kind of meh, but Goblin game's not awful. <laughs> no minor. Rip. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting, so it's through Musk. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not all the way out of this. I can't minor. Never minor pumps like after they've been up for this long, because it means he's gonna have another pump up soon. So yeah, you just gotta have to wait um, and minor the next one. I'm gonna try to get him to zap this, and then I'll play Goblin Game once he has, or not. Okay. I mean, the lead was huge for him, so all things considered, I came out of that all right. Yeah. Got the pump, though, and the minion horde. It's okay. I'll just let him take that. That's a pretty big overcommitment. I'm ahead in Elixir now. Alright. He'll go. Okay, now I can. He doesn't have the Elixir now to, uh, through Musk. Oh, baby. Let's go. Alright. Oh, terrible pump by him. All I need here is death damage. Take out the pump.
survive! Woo. I will survive. Go, 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 go! Okay, I win. I got this. Money in the bank, baby. Not even close. Woo! <laughs> Man, three musk is so frustrating, but you can definitely win, as I showed. Um, yeah, giant three musk with, like, triple air defense is way harder, but the last, the one I beat in this challenge didn't play very well. Um, but, yeah. Obviously, um, a very, uh, a very strategic victory there. Not really. <laughs> but we won, so. A win's a win, baby. We're waiting on this game, so just dance with me. Okay, come on. Everybody scared of me. I don't know what's going on. Why is it taking so long? Okay. I can't pronounce his name. Alright. Good luck. Good luck. Have fun. Zap's that rotation, so... Is this that same giant deck as earlier? Yes, it is. <laughs> Ice Golem, swap places. <laughs> let, let, take the hits for the P.E.K.K.A. Oh, his air defenses are out of hand. Balloon. Oh, he let the Spear Goblin maybe tank? Oh, wait, the Spear Goblin tanked the shot. Yes. No, I meant to zap the tower! If I would have zapped the tower, the P.E.K.K.A. would have stayed alive. I think the Mega Mini may still have killed it. I'm going to take these hits because I don't want to be down 5 Elixir or whatever. I think right now I'm down, even taking this hit, these hits, I think I'm down a little bit. No? Is he AFK? No? Never mind. I'm up like two. I lied. I would have been even if I had played bats. Or he leaked. I'm not sure. I don't feel like he did. Dun, 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 dun. Wasn't paying too close of attention though. I think I'll zap this. Ooh, that goblin game was beautiful. Didn't get hit by the dark prince, but it did block the prince, so my P.E.K.K.A. is still pretty healthy. Uh, he has both Musketeer and Mega Minion in hand, so no reason to play my Balloon here. I'm feeling he's probably gonna go Giant opposite side, because, I mean, he has more damage on that side. Or not. I'm not playing P.E.K.K.A. until... Oh, there it is. Dead. Yeah, so just be smart with your P.E.K.K.A. Don't waste it. You can't just play a P.E.K.K.A. because he plays Dark Prince at the back. That's how you get the old switcheroo play pulled on you, so. 
The soldier Pekka, be smart with it. Don't give too much poison or zap value in one location. Whew, who else is ready for a choke? Why did 10 wins take like a full minute and the 11th for the last game? It was like two seconds. Oh no. Okay, that makes it a little bit better for me actually. No, I thought it would dash! No! No! This is so dumb! <laughs> oh, the timing on my bats got screwed up because I thought it would dash. No. And now I got to pump up because I had a defensive miner. I'm down like... I'm down so much elixir. I got two hits, but I'm down. I'm down so far. Oh no, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down four, and like I'm down like eight elixir from that pump as well. So what you have to do here is you have to kind of like lightly defend this side and then go peck on the two must side. He did waste that ice golem, so that's nice. I mean, this is about as good a defense I could ask for. Yeah, actually that was about perfect. He didn't push the way he should have in my opinion. No, I went th Yes, okay, I hit the pump. Ooh, he missed the log kind of. All right, we're right back in it. Okay, we got the tower too. Oh, he messed up, yes! <laughs> Calculated. Uh, no, no sweats here. Uh, easy peasy. I win these in my sleep. I'm obviously overcompensating for the fact that I should be losing this game so badly. Oh no. Alright. My hand. Kind of turd. Kind of a turd. Alright. Worked out. Like I said, just hold that peck for the two must side and then pressure the one must side really hard. This matchup isn't that bad. It's more so minion horde that gives you troubles and yeah, so this is fine. Leaked a little bit more than I should have there. Whew, well played. Just a difficult matchup for him. He played well. Well, that's not true. He played kind of. He should have pressured differently uh, earlier on. But I played well, I guess. Besides the awful beginning, I was. I should have lost off bat. I was down so much elixir. Uh, GG. I think that's one of the better through Musketeer matchups. Every other one is kind of kind of tough. You just got to be really smart with your P.E.K.K.A.s. Like, so, I mean, you, you can never play your P.E.K.K.A. in the back when they throw Musketeers. That is awful, because it just gets it blocked. It doesn't matter what side you played in the back. It gets it blocked, and they just rush that side. Well, if you played in the back of the one must side, then they just rush the two must side, and you're screwed, because you don't have a big spell. Um... But uh, if you do it to my side at the back, they'll, they'll just block and throw a bunch of stuff in front of it, like Ice Golem, Goblin Gang, and then they'll put like ghosts on the other side and you'll lose. You have to start an Ice Golem, stack your Swarm Troops, um, punish a pump, do whatever you can to wait until everything's at the bridge. Just pile stuff on top of the one musk lane and then just drop that P.E.K.K.A. on top of the two musk. And because they have other troops like Bandit and Ghost that are also weak to, to P.E.K.K.A., then you, you should be fine. So that, that's one of the better 3 Musketeer matchups for sure. Let's open up this chest, see how we're doing. Ice Spirit, the Dank Prince. I do need Dank Princes and Giant Skeletons. I love it. Zappies are my only non-max rare. That'll be gold, that'll be gold, that'll be gold. Clone, mmm. I, can't, I, can't. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Barbarial, new card. It'll get buffed, I'm sure. Alright. Maybe if I ask for a Sparky, I'll get something good. Please give me Sparky. Okay, princess. I was gonna like, oh, I get a max princess. Nice, nice. I can max my princess now. 
Thank you, Supercell. Um, yeah, I thought I was actually gonna get a spark, you know, I was gonna start crying. Okay. <laughs> G oh yeah, GG, well played, and the thumbs up. I forgot that last time I was told uh, from Surge. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Uh, peace out, uh, have a good day, and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> no, if you enjoyed my content, please subscribe. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time.